score. Whoa, <laughs> let me get this on camera. Oh, oh don't break my Right off the post. <laughs> Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all. Another busy day on the homestead. I've already been out doing stuff this morning, but uh, I just didn't get the camera out straight away. But uh, I have cleaned up my paint sprayer. Jack and I, we're working on painting a barn roof for a friend of ours trading for some hay the last two days. And uh, we've got another busy day ahead of us today hoping to go pick up the lumber for the chicken coop uh gotta either get some hay today or tomorrow um on top of all the normal chores and other stuff we've got going on so y'all come along we'll bring you with us are you stuck little baby I think it's <laughs> hey little lambs hey there little lamb look <laughs> they just want to eat Eat, 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 eat. That's all I want to do. Opal and Susie. Opal and Susie? Yep. yep. These aren't quite, they don't understand enough about the poultry netting to no. not get tangled in it yet. So we have to keep them in here. The rest of them we're putting outside every day. We take them out when we can supervise them. Yeah. But they can't be left unsupervised. Susie's the bigger one, right? Mm -hmm. Her eyes are a little bit cute. I hear Jack come on with the tractor. The kitty kitty, what are you doing in here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the kitty's like, I want the bunnies. I know, it's funny. <laughs> That's not good. Look at all that hay, baby. Oh. baby. Look at this. Look at this. That's and ridiculous. Run to the feed store. All right. And grab what we need from there real quick. Let's do it. All right. All right. We ran to the feed store to get red cell. Finally came in, and the lighting's off there. Yeah. Um, and we got some probiotics for cooking. Yep. So. And now we're going to the hardware store down here, which is also a camper store, to buy a vent for the uh, box trailer. Then going home to give these goats some red cell and cookies and probios. Yep. All right. Exciting Saturday it's a busy morning day. day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We have a lot going on. We do. <laughs> All right. There's Just cookie. gave Cookie her probios. She's not super excited about it. She seems a little. She was kind of puny acting earlier. Like she didn't feel good and. No uh, temperature. Um. She just, she wasn't eating her hay. I was just concerned because we've had so much <laughs> horrible things happening here as far as animals dying. Oh. But um, I uh, I just wanted to give her some probiotics just to be on the safe side. She seems okay to me now. I mean, yeah. she doesn't look. I mean, she may have just been sleepy. I don't she know. Sleepy could have. We did give her herbal warmer for a few days, so that could have thrown her off a little bit. But she doesn't. I mean, I don't. Looking I at her right now, she seems perfectly. Hey, Perfectly fine. No yeah. normal, not acting off, but probiotics aren't going to hurt her, so. Nope. We'll give her a little bit. These two other goose. They're growing, finally. They're finally growing. Good. Heidi and Issy May. I don't know if they're going to be big enough for breeding this year, but. I hope. We've got, what, three spring, months? Yeah. Two months, three if months? If not, we'll have to figure out. We'll have to put them up. Until, yeah, we'll have to keep them separate and then not breed them till. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I didn't want to think about it. I right think now. they'll be big enough. They're they're we'll really starting they to get better on. and start growing. So, but anyway, right, well, let's go take care of the goats. We gotta get them some red cell. Yes. So here we're checking goat eyelids. <laughs> Trying to. Rosemary is not. We're playing merry-go-round. Oh, Kylie's gonna pick yeah, her up completely. Oh my, her collar is a little too. I mean, it's not like choker, but. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Kylie. She is not easy to catch. So. No. 
Does she just submit when you pick her up all the way, Kylie? Yes. Oh yeah. Look. Well, okay. Come yeah, here. She's look nice. At this. I see. Look, look and see how pink, nice and pink, salmon colored her eyelids are. Let me show on camera. <laughs> see this? Okay. They're very pink, which is great. Uh huh. I'm very pleased with that. Um, I don't know how to loosen this. You can take it off of her if you want. I gotta loosen this. I'll show you uh, Coco Mama's in a minute. Hers are much paler. And you have to keep a check on your own goats because some goats. Are you going the right way with that? No. I didn't think some, goats, Coco eating. some goats are gonna have. Um, what a pain. Yeah, I don't know. Here, let mommy let Emma do that, babe, while she's yeah, you, while you're showing Coco yeah. Mamas. Um, some goats will naturally have lighter colored eyelids, but they should be pretty pink still. They should not be white. And Coco Mamas are pretty pale. She's not gonna like this. So. She's out eating it all. Hey, girl. Now she's got. We're giving her the red. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her another B12 injection. Can you today. get over here on the sunny side because? Well. Let me see. Let me get my hand on her. Okay. See how pale her eyelids are in comparison. They're little. Hang they on, have a pink. Hold on just a second. Let me get the there you go. Oops. camera to try that. My, I was blocking it. Oh. Okay. See. Oh yeah, very pale. Yeah, in comparison, it's got. Okay. A, it's a little bit. It's actually better than it was. Yeah. Here you go, Mama. Sorry. <laughs> I need to get a banana to feed her so she'll like me again. Um, I'm glad that Rosemary is pink because she's way harder to deal with as you can see i'm holding um, her babies <laughs> okay put her but hey let baby. her go eat her grain so cookie mama doesn't go get it yeah well, there she goes they can share but yeah they don't get a ton of grain we just feed them when we need to do things um, right. but anyway so i feel like uh, Coco Mama is progressing. I do think we should give her another B12. And now that we have the red cell, we can give her that um, probably every day for five days at least. And then I'll see if they're pinking up. And they should be. Um, we went through this last year and she pinked up and was fine for months and months and months. And I really think it has a lot to do with the fact that she didn't have her minerals. And we are going to go ahead and copper bolus her because I do think that she has a copper issue going on as well. But um, I'm, I feel like she's not in a critical state I feel like before she was at that point where it could have gotten critical really fast yes but we worked with her and I think she's new okay you know, I got baby goats and I got baby goats oh baby goats are about the cutest aren't they yep especially okay. baby Nubians yes, you are you babies oh my goodness oh, I got baby ears goats. here's Emma <laughs> and her <laughs> sloth hat that she made here Lydia come here I said her name and she came over here she knows her name hi Lydia Liam oh goodness you're getting heavy her little boo-boo on her head is getting better. Good. But she's sweet too. We can't put the other two little lambs out here because they still don't understand the fence, which we told you that earlier, but Lydia does good. Yep. Lydia lamb. They'll learn once they get a little older. Yeah, they will. And we've been, <laughs> they're all hungry. We'll be feeding them here in a minute. You can watch us feed them. Mm -hmm. um, they're heating up their mouth. <laughs> like they're doing good. And those two are fighting over their feed. He's such a stout calf compared to the Jersey. Yeah. Even the Jersey Angus cross, he's a, uh, <laughs> He's much more stout. Yeah, he looks, I mean, he almost identical to the, to the uh, purebred Tarantase mm -hmm. down there, yeah. Too bad he's not a heifer. Oh my goodness, yeah, I know. Cookie puts out some pretty calves and they're all boys, so. <laughs> She's bound to have us a heifer one of these years, right? Yes, I would think. So. He's very interested in the bucket. I would yeah, say we try to give him green. some alpha hay. That yeah, would be good hay. to supplement him. We don't want to give him any grain for sure. No. Very good. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You're a man. You and you. Wow, man. He's a wow. Kicked in the afterburners, didn't he? Now they're being chased by a wild hungry bull. Yeah. <laughs> Watching come up here and headbutt me. I do want to point something out. Okay. That I think every single video since Christmas I've been wearing the same sweatshirt. But I have washed it in between. So I might be wearing the same clothes in every video. But please know that I do wash my clothes <laughs> between videos. That's just what she's telling y'all. Yeah. We all know better here. Yeah, right. No. But anyway, yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. Every video I edit, I'm like, I wear the same exact clothes in every video. Like, <laughs> it's your outside 
Coach. Look, it's, yeah. It, it looks, looks it like is. I'm going to go like me. Your hair is wild, buddy. Your hair is oh out of control, Jacob. Uh, no, it's he like, I'm going to go He took a shower like this me. morning, but apparently he missed the brush your hair after he showered him. Hey, it looks and, like the goat. Yeah. I'm like me. They do like you a lot. We're sharing bottles, so this is for our Florence. Florence. Whoa, let me get this on camera. Oh, don't break my face. Right off the coast. <laughs> I'm I'm not the only one. <laughs> you broke our post, <laughs> Emma. <laughs> we can fix it. We can fix the paper, I think. We'll try it. Congrats. <laughs> At least I got it on camera. I got her swap I showed them that a while ago. Yeah, check it out. The swans can climb much better than that, Emma. What are we showing? Oh. Da, da, da. There's your socks that you knitted. I'm working on another pair and I finished one. I gotta finish the other for that. The next pair is even better. More awesomer. Oh, yeah. These socks are my first pair and so my uh, my one sock <laughs> that I knit first, I meant knit much looser. So it's like actually way bigger than yeah, the other one. It's pretty funny. So yep. <laughs> Jacob's having a struggle. Look at Jake. Carry <laughs> away. Hang on, baby. Hang on. I think we need more bottles. We have uh, more bottle nipples. We just need if we we have some old. How much? Okay, seven, eight. Is that what she gets? She is six. She gets six. Yes. Empty. 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 Okay. Okay. It's empty. Um. We need to. I think we have an old water bottle. I saw somewhere. We need to get the other. Uh, we have. Some old bottles, and we have new nipples like these that will go in regular bottles. So we we have more bottles. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Ah! Okay, hang on. It's almost your turn. Who didn't get fed yet? Arwen. She's about to start. Oh, Jerry's got his bottle now. Poor Lydia. She's just trying to finish her lunch. <laughs> All right, Arwen. Take it, baby. Yeah. They're eating. They're, they're, they're eating. There you go. You want them to have their stance as if they were actually nursing on their mama. Get <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Gotcha. Gotcha. That whole thing where uh, sheep are not quite as smart as other animals like goats is true. I found. Goats are extremely intelligent. Sheep, they're a little bit more on the duh side. <laughs> but they're so cute and soft and sweet. the other two babies because it's just the two of them we have two bottles for them or no we have one bottle for them we can use yeah, the second bottle. yeah you can fill yeah. that one they found my bottle but they don't think they got it your mama Florence. <laughs> you got like a little piece of careful Emma already ah he's chewing on my phone <laughs> in my pocket you weirdo <laughs> you weirdo you all right, I think everybody's dead. Everybody in here. Everybody in here. All right. There you go. It's a feeding frenzy. They're getting it. They're not quite as, there we go. It's not quite as good at it as the other ones. You mm -hmm. babies. They're so cute. Little mammies. We have a lot of species on our farm right now. Yeah. <laughs> we've got cows. We got beef cows. We got dairy cows. We've got goats. Two types of goats. We got sheep. Horse. We got donkey. horse. A donkey. Pigs. Bunny. Guineas. Guineas. That's ten. Is that it? Cats. cats. <laughs> Did you count the cats? Cats and dogs. Yeah, no. So that's like twelve species of animals. Can I think of? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Mommy? Yes, sir. Where's Josiah? I don't know. He was running around earlier. He was on the bike and playing. And it's hard to tell. 
You got free range kids, they go all over the place. There you go. <laughs> Get them out, let them have a little bit of fun exercise play. Simple yesterday he was drinking all that. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't get to finish the video earlier outside with animals. We showed you us feeding animals and stuff, but then a bunch of stuff came up and didn't finish the video. So we're yeah. in the camper for the evening, but I did want to um, show you guys something awesome. <laughs> See, this is a crochet cow. It's a Nelly cow, and my awesome aunt crocheted it for me, but it gets better. We're to, oh, she comes with a blade of grass. It comes out of her mouth. You can put it in. But that's not the best part. It poops. It doesn't poop. It gives no. birth. It births a teeny tiny baby cow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Is that the cutest little thing? Can you see that? Yeah. The camera's not focusing. It's... I don't know. I think... There you go. There's little Nelly cow. I dropped Nelly cow. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Nelly. Or the mommy cow. But there anyway. You go. So, yes. My aunt made this, and my aunt is awesome, and I love it, and <laughs> I play with it as much as kids. So there's yeah, Nelly Cow. it's pretty funny. And I promised to show you my other sock I made, and it's got this cool textured pattern. See? I can't believe I made that. I can't either. You that's that's and awesome. It, look, and it fits. I'm working on the second one. I was just talking about how I'm getting this pattern down, and then I completely messed up. I have to unknit a whole row, but look at that. It's a real sock. Okay. That's crazy. Anyway, that's my little geek out thing and since we're in the camper i can't really sew so i'm glad i took up knitting i feel like it was a god thing i just started knitting you know recently a month ago or so and i'm able to sit You're in here and do knitting. my knitting knitting <laughs> knitting knitting yeah <laughs> so anyway um yeah but that's my awesome crochet cow for my aunt and a little knit sock. Now I gotta there make a is. match. I'm working on it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along with us. And if you're not already subscribed, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time we upload a video. And if you hit that thumbs up, it'll let YouTube know that you are enjoying our videos. And we love to hear from you in the comment section. And we will catch you guys next time. See y'all.